Well, um, what a day we are living in. Uh, as I was driving here, Bobby's trying to get a look. Hi. <laughs> There's BB. Hi. And my, the rest of my family's hiding from the camera. Just uh, had to explain to my children that this is the first day of their life where it is illegal to go to church. And so uh, it wasn't easy to find a church that was open, but we did. And uh, so we drove to Edmonton. Uh, interestingly, there's Costco and you can see just oh, probably about, if you go around the building, there's about 1,100 cars, maybe 1,200 cars. There's just over, for sure over 1,000 cars here. People are lined up. Uh, they're packing this place out. But uh, while you can go to Costco and you can go to Walmart, you can get your marijuana and you can get your alcohol. It is illegal to go to church. But there is one that is open. There's probably a few. Uh, I don't know if you found one, but uh, I'm going to check this one out. Church in the Vine, right across the street from Costco. Just um, not sure exactly uh, how this all plays out. You know, uh, what do you do in days like this where, where uh, the world says that God is not essential? Jesus is not essential. Worship is not essential. The Bible says, do not give up meeting together. Hebrews 10, 25. Do not give up meeting together, but encourage one another. Why do we gather? Because we need encouragement. Some of you have been stuck at home for a year. You need encouragement. You're sliding into stuff you haven't struggled with for a decade. You need encouragement. You need to be with others. He's, the Bible says, don't give up meeting together, but encourage each other. Get together and encourage each other. And even more, as you see the day of the Lord approaching. Friends, we are getting into dark days. And uh, I don't know if there's a place for you to gather. But I pray that you'll find one. Maybe it's just uh, a few friends getting together to worship in your living room or in your basement. I had a wonderful time of worship last night. See, I can't tell you where. <laughs> because then people get in trouble. But, oh, I had a wonderful time of worship. If you know someone with a guitar, you can have church anywhere, friend. Anywhere. Gather, worship, pray. Meet in a living room. Meet in a basement. Find a, If you're an intercessor, find a bunch of fervent, fiery kingdom intercessors and go for it. Uh, but, uh, but we need each other. And uh, don't let the world lie to you and say, no, no, you don't need each other. There's some things you can't get on Zoom. There's some things you can't get on YouTube. There are some things that you just got to get close to people, friends. And so we worship because when two or three, even two or three, gather together, when we gather in his midst, Jesus says, I am there. There's a whole nother level of presence when we gather together. And so I'm encouraging you, find hungry people. Maybe your church can't be open right now. I don't judge the pastors who close. You know, I know pastors who, I got a friend who, if he, if he stayed open, they would deport him because <laughs> he's, he's not a Canadian citizen. So, I mean, there's, there are circumstances. I don't judge pastors who feel they need to close. I trust them to follow their spirit. But as for me and my house, we're going to gather and we're going to worship the Lord. And if we have to do it in hiding places, that's where we'll do. If we can find a place that <laughs> you've got a leader with ridiculous amounts of courage, uh, like here across the street, well, you know what? I want to support that. I want to get with those guys and run with them. Run with those who are running. So find some people. Gather and worship. Do not hide away. You say, Steve, it's just three weeks. It's just three weeks. Over a year ago, they were saying, oh, just three weeks. Flatten the curve, friend. Wake up. This isn't three weeks. This is your freedom to worship the Lord. This is your freedom to, to, to even have a voice. And if we lay down, we won't have one. And so I will not bow. I cannot bow. I must gather. I must worship the Lord. Share if you dare. God bless you. And if you haven't already, please... Uh, join our oil patch pulpit community. It's 
censorship, friends. Censorship is getting it's tougher and tougher. These messages are not going to get to you if you don't eventually get on our email list. All you got to do is send me an email to feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. Feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. Say, Steve, I like your stuff, and I'll make sure I send you the videos. And if you live near Drayton Valley or you're willing to drive that far and you would like to know about gatherings we have, um, just mention that in the email too. Let me know about gatherings. Um, I might need to know you to invite you. I apologize. You know, um, if I don't know you, maybe uh, if you know your pastor knows me, mention his name so that uh, I have a little bit of a reference or something. I can kind of check but, uh, but we are going to worship the Lord. We're going to gather. And uh, the world can do what it wants. But uh, we are going to worship the Lord. God bless you. We'll see you soon.